Harvest is done and we've got three fields to plow. 44, 43 and 42. Unfortunately, I don't think this is going to cut it. Time we went and got something bigger. Hello and welcome along and welcome back to Charwell. Yep, yeah, it is autumn. Uh, we need to start getting our fields ready for the next year. It is absolutely tipping it down. Um, and what I want to do is, uh, is I want to get some stuff subsoiled, really. Uh, so we've got a little bit of uh, work here to do. Uh, and to do that, uh, I want to get a new piece of equipment uh, for use on the farm. And it's something that I've found, actually, that is absolutely brilliant. What we do need to do is we need about... Well, actually, let's check how much we do need. So in the shop under subsoilers, uh, there's a, a mod that I found. This, this Duro France uh, subsoiler has a massive six meters, but only 250 horsepower. So I think this is going to be a great piece of kit for us, especially for the really big field we're going to do today. Um, we're going to get the JCB going out and plowing as well. That will be able to go and do our two smaller fields. So uh, to buy this is 39,000. We've got minus 10 pound at the moment. So we are going to have to increase our loan back up slightly. I'm not too worried because in the next couple of days we are going to be uh, selling a load of stuff. So we should make this back fairly quickly. So take this up to 39,000. We are then going to go and purchase uh, this, this Duro, the Duro France. So uh, no customization options or anything like that on this. But this should look absolutely cracking behind this tractor. So we are going to buy that. Uh, and this is, uh, is going to be so useful for us on the farm. Uh, there it is. So we're going to go and hook that up. And it is a wet, wet day. I don't know what. Now I'm running a new... Um, uh, a new controller setup. I've got the advanced vehicle uh, controller or control, yeah, advanced vehicle control setup on this. So I'm trying to get used to not using my mouse with it uh, because it shouldn't be necessary. Also, I had a great load of fun this morning. Switching between my two computers seems to have uh, really, really confused my um uh, <laughs> confused my computer and uh, and exactly what's going on with controllers so i've had to reassign all of my controls i think i've actually got a better setup now than my last one but uh yeah it is uh it is what it is and it's uh, taken me a little while to get that done so hopefully that will all sort everything as well and we're gonna, just going to take this back to the farm because, uh, as I said, what I really want to do is get the JCB started first. We'll have a quick check of our animals here as well. So, animals here, we are... Yeah, so we're going to have to deal with our animals at some point today. But I won't be doing it in this video. So, we'll leave that there. And that is, that is a cracking looking piece of kit. But we do need to get the other stuff done. Now, I'm actually wondering what power requirement our current uh, one has. So that's 180 horsepower on that Chiron, um, as opposed to 250 we've got on this subsoiler. Now that does mean that we can use that with the JCB. We can't use it, unfortunately, with the Massey. So we will use the JCB for doing the plowing on the other fields. And my, my plan really is to get all the fields and everything plowed before uh, we get into the next year. We're fortunate in that we've got both of our uh, both of our winter crops planted. So both the winter, the wheat, and the canola we got in. I'm hoping that both of them have been uh, have been germinated at this point uh, because we are second. We are late autumn, and if, it, if they haven't germinated today, then I'm not sure they will. Let's check that while we're reversing round for this. In fact, no, it's not in that one. It is in this one. We want to have a look. So germination or what's happened. Yes, so both of our winter crops have in fact germinated, which is absolutely brilliant. That means next year we are going to have some really, really early crops from those. 
So let's hook up the JCB. And we'll take this to our nearest one first. So lift it, fold it up into transport position, like so. And we can take this out to our field. Love it. In, in the rain like this, the reflections of these beacons is, is absolutely incredible. I'm really, really loving that. And then we'll take this, and we're going to do this on longest side here. So, what I'm going to do, I'll take this round to here. Like so. And we'll take the tractor right into the corner. Because we want it to finish about here. Actually, looking at this, looking at where our gate is and everything... I think a much better place for us to finish would be over this corner here. So that we can then easily get it out of here. And we'll look to finish it going uh, counterclockwise in... No, going clockwise, actually, in this corner here. Just before the gate, really, is where I want to finish. We're going to have to close the gate uh, in both ways. So off with beacons, and we want to stop it about here. So up with course play, uh, onto the field work, course generation. Uh, you can, as we've shown before, you can click on the field number to select your field. Current vehicle, I want it to go longest edge because we want it to do it the field like that. Uh, bypass islands, we don't have any on here. Skip rows, multiple tools, no. Uh, wait, it is a 3.6 meter plow so we'll set it to 3.5 uh, headland we want it to do at least four i think uh, we want it to do it clockwise we want it to do the up downs first we want it to turn in the corners that means we'll get much nicer corners uh, and we're not doing field center so let's try this And there we go. Of course, generator says we, so. It may be, and you can see where there's some interesting issues. But otherwise, that is running nicely, and it's going to start exactly where I want it to as well. So we'll escape out of that, and we'll take it over to here, and this should then set us up very nicely with this. I fully expect it to use the four-wheel steer on here. We've not set that yet. Uh, we've got it set to first waypoint, uh, which will work grand for us. And we can sit on it until it reaches that corner over there. And we can go and close that gate. So, drive course. Folding out. Like so, putting the plough into the right place, and away it goes. And we should be able to run faster than that tractor. And yeah, looking absolutely brilliant. That has kicked off, and should do this field here. We also have, uh, so we also need this to do field 44, which it should do in a moment. Four headlands should be enough. Meanwhile, we're going to get cracking in this. So, turn this round. Uh, because, yeah, this is the bit of kit that I really want to play with today. And you can see, actually, this, uh, this mod. One of the things I'm really getting used to is taking my hands off while I'm, uh, while I'm using the wheel and turning and driving now. Because it turns your head in the direction... That, uh, that you turn. So it's quite useful if you're coming up to a junction and you want to mimic that whole thing. You just turn your wheel both ways. And then away you go and it's all good. Now, I'm not sure if I've put my beacons on here. Yeah, we have. Now something we're probably going to have to do, uh, and preferably before it gets too cold, is get our field, uh, get that field fertilized. Because field 31 only has 
a first stage of fertilization on it. And so while it's germinated, uh, it has not completely done. So we need, do need to check that. I'll turn our beacons off because we're at the field. And looking at this, our best bet. Wow. There is no direction that's going to look good on this. But we'll unfold this. And we'll see just how good this piece of kit is. Uh, now I set my GPS along this edge here. With the hope that we will finish in this corner. So let's turn it on. Yes, I've added the turning on of the GPS as a key now. Um, because I was uh, I was struggling. Now what I want to do is I do want to, we've got I want to turn snap to rain angle off, um, which is good. I want to set this to the width of my kit, which is also good. We'll drop this down, so make sure we have the right thing selected. Drop it down, and away we go. And that now should allow us to set up a nice line along here. Now we are going at 27 miles per hour no no maximum we can go is 27 miles per hour sorry um what we are actually going at is seven miles per hour but it's a good speed this is a six meter piece of kit uh which is uh, which is the really cool thing about it uh and it means that we're able to do this work for a 250 horsepower tractor we can use this piece of kit and do three times the speed that we can with our plow and this will cultivate it at the same time something that's not massively important for our seeder uh, although actually if we're putting if we're doing any direct seeding it's quite useful uh, if we're doing any non-direct seeding sorry it's quite useful right that should give us our line so we'll see how well that does in a moment so if I now set this, it's sending me over that way. And it looks like what it's done is because we turned the snap train. Yeah, snap train angle is on. So yeah, that's what we've got. We want to clear that route that we've just done then. And we'll start up a second one. And down. So start it up. Keep on this route. And we've got the lines, the show lines on now because of what happened last time. And set it. Absolutely perfect. That will do us very, very nicely. It seems to be running along the side. Looks like we might have a little bit further down the field, but otherwise we're good. Yeah, we are. You can see it's getting further and further across. But that is fine. We will uh, we'll use this line here. We'll come and clear this bit up in a minute. Uh, but I'm going to pop into here, turn the show lines off. And away we go. Absolutely cracking. Uh, and yeah, so that means that we're now subsoiling this. And because we're subsoiling this, uh, you can see that we are removing the need to plow, which is great. The, the actually the other one, the JCB is going quite fast at the moment. So we've got a little bit of catching up to do to that. Uh, so I'm going to crack on for a bit and uh, and we'll see how we're doing once we've, uh, we've got a little bit further into this field. I think we're about a quarter of the way through the field at the moment. Maybe even a, a third. Uh, we are making some good progress. It is skipping a couple of patches. And I think I'm going to have to go back over those. Uh, but in general, this is uh, this is just working as a brilliant piece of kit. I'm very, very pleased with it. We're going to take about as long to get this field done, I think. As our... Um, as our JCB is going to take to get the other two done. Considering we started a way behind it. Um, it is almost through field 42. Um, so that's, that's not the end of the world. If we are. Uh, if we don't get to. Uh, to get as far as that does. Because we are dealing with a much much bigger field here. But. 
it is uh, it is working very very well this uh, this tractor and actually this new control system although I am gonna have to turn off the uh, the turning I think now to do that I will show you guys because this is a new piece of kit um, control C brings up this now this uh, new control setup does have a really really interesting uh, set of uh, possibilities um, I mean you could snap to an angle so it's almost got GPS built into it as well which is pretty cool um, but I am going to turn off the uh, interior camera rotation and the look backwards inside so that should stop that doing it when it's uh, when it's doing that uh, the adaptive steering seems quite nice as well um, uh, and works quite well for us um, I don't think it no I notice it so much with the wheel I think I'd notice it more if I was actually using keyboard but it's uh, yeah the whole thing feels that little bit smoother uh, and it's not quite doesn't seem to have come across quite so um, janky as the enhanced vehicle mod has always felt. Uh, the one thing I do miss, the one thing we are missing from this, uh, is that we have no indicator of um, how much repair is needed for the uh, for our piece of equipment we're using. We know roughly for the tractor because we can see that repair here. We can't see it for the uh, for the equipment. So there is that. Um, otherwise, though, um, I don't miss the fuel gauge at all. That isn't a, a big issue. And I'm not really... I never really used any of the other bits. So, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm liking this a lot. About halfway through the field now. And surprise, surprise, the fast track is saying that it needs to be refueled soon. It is going round and doing the headlands, looking at it at the moment. It was just the other side of the field. Uh, so I think it should be all right. I think we're going to be okay to refuel it as we uh, when we go and collect it and get it to do. But it does look like we're in a position here where we're going to be uh, about hard. we're going to finish these two fields about the same time, which is absolutely perfect for us. Um, exactly what we want here. I'm trying to get a similar sort of headland both sides of this. Uh, and uh, and to see how that work, uh, see how that works. Sorry, um, and uh, and yeah, we we we're looking at having all three fields for this sorted very nicely. There we go. Away we go. And uh, and I'm liking I'm, I'm, I am liking this subsoiler enough I, a, a lot. Sorry. I think this subsoiler is one that I will go back to again and again. There was a second option we had here, um, which is this one here, this case. Now, this has a 3.8 meter and a 5.2. The 3.8 meter is 170 horsepower. Now, that is compared to the others. Okay, that's actually, I thought that was better than it was, but the 4 meter ones are less horsepower. Um, 250 is the same as this. So, yeah, I don't actually really have a reason to use that case. Other than that case is, uh, it's a case one. Uh, that would have been quite useful when I was doing that all case farm over on Lone Oak. But, uh, yeah. Uh, for what I'm using uh, mostly at the moment, a uh, little bit less useful. Because we'll either have this one at 250 or you've got the standard use ones that are available all over the place uh, for the other one um, but this is this is working really really well so this is the Duro France and it is uh, and yeah you can see it's running over this quite nicely uh, works really well with this uh, um, Terra truck uh, I think it fits on this very very nice a little bit of overkill as far as the uh, power levels go though uh, we have I think this is the smallest version of this tractor that we've got uh, and we have got um, 355 horsepower so we've got over a hundred horsepower more than this piece of kit requires uh, for us to pull it so it's uh, yeah this this tractor is a little bit overkill from this farm and I think I might have said that early on to be honest it was one of those things where I just wanted to use it because it is an utterly fantastic tractor uh, and would do vast majority of our jobs 
we have, um, of course, we had this karting at one point, which is ridiculous to have this tractor karting. Um, but it was, uh, we had to use, we had to use the, uh, we had to use the JCB to bail. And, uh, and at the time, the only other tractor available to us to cart was this. Uh, as it is now, we wouldn't have to do that. We could use the Massey to bail and, uh, and be carting with the JCB. And it was part of actually, part of the decision to get the Massey was because we found ourselves in, in that way at the end of last season. Our fast track, it appears, has reached its trigger point. So before I get cracking into this next row, we'll set ourselves up, come back here, and that will do. Let's head over to here, and uh, looking pretty good. Uh, looks like a couple of places this might have missed, so uh, we will stop the driver. Yeah, there's... Oh, wow, what has this been doing? So, most of it seems to be pretty good. We've got these big streaks coming up to here. So the only thing we can do is delay ourselves getting back a little bit and getting these done. There we go, all done. Uh, we'll clear off that course then because we're going to have to create a new one in a moment. And get this gate open. And we'll take this up now and head to the other field. So we are all closed up and set to transport mode. On with that. Uh, I'm going to get rid of my course play screen at the moment. We don't need that. And, uh, and yeah, we're heading up to field 44 now. Uh, where what we'll do is uh, get this plowing that uh, and hopefully then by the time we've finished that plowing that uh, will be good although i did say oh, we're gonna have to go back via the farm was what i said uh, because this tractor does not have enough fuel to complete this job so that is where we're going to go first we've got to go past the field we actually want to go to and head back to our farm and refill this uh, so i'm gonna go do that i'm gonna go and refill the tractor uh, and then we'll be back up at field 44 to get this next job started, I think. Here we are, back at field 44. And we're going to bring it into this corner and we're going to stop it. So get it to stop at this corner so that we can easily get out of the field. So uh, let's generate ourselves a course. Uh, as before, field 44. Uh, around four passes now I'm looking at the smooth turn yeah we want to do turn uh, and that will do us nicely so let's get in 3.5 we are slightly smaller than our um, actually no 3.5 this is only a three meter piece of kit so we'll reduce that down to three meters hopefully that will help things I'm going to turn this on to five uh, headlands as a result generate course uh, looking good looking very nice uh, let's get this started then looks like our start is the far side of the field yeah i did say i think that our width on this plow is only three meters so that was why we were leaving such wide areas on the last field um at the end was because yeah we weren't covering everything uh, which is interesting. I'm amazed that the middle of the field still got ploughed as much as it did. But with this at three metres, let's set this going. Uh, drive course, first waypoint. That is all good. We will go and close this gate. Head back to... Ooh. Head back to this... And uh, and away we go again. Both tractors are once again working. This time, though, we can see the JCB on the other side. Let's see which for tractor now finishes its field first. This is going to be a race to the end. Wow, that um, that JCB has made it 
quite a long way through field 44. I mean, field 44 is a lot, lot smaller than this one. But we still have a good chunk of field to go here. And that JCB is beginning to look like it's getting near to doing its headlands. Uh, so I think that's going to win today. That might not be such a good thing, uh, a bad thing for us. Uh, because I've discovered while I'm doing this that uh, today is actually the best selling day for canola. Uh, you can see the price is slightly above. Oh, it's about the 12.84 mark. Um, day two of winter would, would also be a pretty good day. But if we can sell our canola today, that would be absolutely brilliant. We have... Oh, let's just get the uh, tractor turned around. Uh, and then we can see how much canola we have. But I think we have a really, really good amount of canola here. So, I think our JCB is going to finish uh, before this does. When it does... Uh, we're going to go and sell some of this. Uh, I want to see if I can get this on uh, maybe a course play of its own to finish off. Um, I don't think it's... Well, it, might, it might follow the line that we've gone. Um, but it's uh, it's going to be a difficult one. If, if I could get to just the headlands at the end, that would be good. But we do have a good load of canola to sell and that will probably pay for this new bit of kit uh, because as i said we have in storage canola 46,000 liters so yeah easily 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 enough to pay for this new bit of kit we've just bought uh, which is absolutely brilliant so i think we should get this finished and uh, and Go and see if we can pay for this bit of kit that we've uh, that we've got hold of here. We're doing both headlands at the moment. Um, the uh, JCB is currently on its, uh, I think it's on its first headland. Uh, we are on our, uh, we are doing this side of the field. We're going to go back and do the other side of the field in a minute. Um, but it's, uh, it's all going pretty well. I think we've got at least three headlands uh, to run on this side here. Uh, we'll then run back up to the top of the field and, uh, and finish off the, the headland at the top of the field. Uh, and then we've uh, then we've got the other side of the field to do. So I think it's going to be a fairly similar uh, sort of time that we uh, both tractors finish, which is really good. I mean that gives us um, an absolutely great uh, position to be in. So up to the corner here. And yeah, it sort of gets a little bit wider here. It would uh, it would be good if this was just six meters uh, up the side of the field here, but I think it's slightly more. Uh, and I think uh, yeah, that's got that's because that's doing five headlands to JCB, so that's got a little bit further to go as well. And if we've timed this right, that would be great. It does seem to be doing it a little bit better if we look at the coverage the JCB has got. Uh, that should be, uh, yeah, there's a few little bits in the corners, but otherwise it's really, really good that the JCB's done. Much better than the last field it was on. Uh, here we've uh, we've covered everything pretty nicely. We've got a couple of uh, small areas. We've got a patch there and a patch there where it skipped. But otherwise, you can see we've got a really good coverage. And um, we've got that big uh, bit that we got uh, when we originally were doing our... Uh, GPS setup, and here, of course, we now got this slither going into this side here. So we'll have to do this and then come back up the top here. But it's uh, it's been really good getting both of these tractors on this job. It's meant that we have got this covered pretty quickly. Um, we're we're not in a position where we're going into the new year with any ground that isn't ready for us to deal with. Um, only field, uh, only field 41, I think, has not been prepared for next year. But the beauty of field 41 is that we're going to be able to direct to drill it 
because uh, it's had a crop in that doesn't require plowing or cultivating first. Uh, we can probably actually get rid of... In fact, I don't think we have a cultivator on the farm. I'm not sure. I need to double check that. But this, this kind of replaces uh, any cultivator we would have on the farm. So it may be a case of there's something here we can sell. Let's have a look at that. Let's see what we got in our garage. So, uh, yeah, we've got our direct drill. Otherwise, uh, we're good. If we can get... Actually, that's the thing. The reason we, we needed a cultivator would be to uh, drill into fields that we can't... Uh, that we're unable to do the uh, the direct drilling on because our second drill does not have a direct drill as part of it. So I need to check whether the fields that we have done this on, whether that we've ploughed and uh, and we've subsoiled here, whether those fields are taking in stuff that uh, that doesn't require direct drilling. So for or the, or that uh, that does require drilling, sorry, and cultivating first. Everything requires drilling, uh, and in this case, we're putting sugar beet in this field. I think so. Uh, yeah, this field uh, will be absolutely prepared uh, for the next go, for the next round of crop to go into it. Got a small bit there. I'm just going to go back and grab while we're here. Whereas. Um, I think, yeah, after sugar beet, it's, it's where the corn is going that I've got the biggest question. So, if we get a set up on here and go to here, just want to have a look at where the corn is going. Uh, so the corn is going in after the barley. So, interestingly enough, that is field 41 that we're talking about for uh, for putting uh, the corn in. So that is going to need to be cultivated. So uh, we may have to use this piece of kit on that just to uh, to do that job and prepare the ground uh, rather than buy another cultivator. I thought, uh, in the back of my mind, I had a bad stab cultivator, but uh, it would appear not. Uh, if we do need to buy one, we will buy one. And, uh, and improve things because that's where we are. So the fast track has finished. In answer to our earlier query, are both tractors going to finish at the same time? No. The fast track has got round and done its job first. We are on the last headland here, so I'm going to knock this out. Um, and then we're going to get both tractors back to the farm, sell some canola, and see where we are at the end of this day. We're on the final little bit of the headland now. Just cleaning this up. Uh, has gone very, very nicely. We've got plenty of fuel still in our tractor, which is always a concern for me. And uh, and yeah, we are. Uh, we're just finishing up. It's gone really, really well. As I said earlier, we have got um, all the fields pretty much ready for where we want them to be in spring. Uh, if we get the chance, we might see if we can run a cultivator over at field 41. If it is uh, dry enough, or if it is, uh, if the ground isn't too solid, come the next game day, maybe grab a cultivator and set this tractor going on there. Uh, we have got to do a little bit of work with our animals uh, before I finish today, but I'll get that done separately. I'll get that done off camera, and then that gives us something to do when we have our big selling day uh, in a couple of game days. Uh, but uh, yeah, we're going to skip through the winter pretty quickly. Uh, it's uh, it's not something I want to dwell on too much. We've got uh, we got a th I think it's the third day of winter is going to be really busy selling wise. We've got all of our uh, wood chip bales from last year to sell. We've got all of our stuff from uh, this year to sell, uh, minus the canola, which we're now going to go and sell. Uh, and uh, and get done. We're just going to put this tractor here. Stop that. Pop back to here. And stop driver. Because we need to reverse this tractor up. 
And it has done a pretty good job here. I think I, I think I will uh, leave this here, actually. So what we'll do, so we'll do what they quite often do in fields, is, uh, is they will leave a piece of equipment in it because we have a job to go and do with this. Let's zoom back in and we can come pick that up later. Yeah, that was still showing a little bit of animation off the back of those. And uh, and yeah, we're going to head back to our farm. We're going to grab the trailer and, uh, and we're going to go and sell some of the canola. Hopefully it won't be too far that we have to sell it. Um, and we'll make some decent money off it. In fact, looking at the time that we've got, I think we're going to deal with the animals and we're going to sell the canola next episode. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this video here and all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, drop us a comment and give it a share. And for all the latest videos and live streams from Virtual Farmer, Please subscribe to the channel and ring that bell. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.